Shelby, I'm one of the co-hosts of Frank and Mary in Westboro. I'm here in downtown Westboro at 21 East Main Street. I'm going to be joining my friend and our co-host Arthur Bergeron in just a few minutes as we walk inside and meet with some local business owners here for Lifeway Mobility. So let's go check it out. Hi Shelby, nice to see you again. Hi, this is my friend Arthur. Hi Arthur, nice to meet you. Dan Martin, a real pleasure. Thank you for being our first on the road show of Frank and Mary in Westboro. This is very exciting. It's glad to have you here. Yeah, it's thrilling to be here and uh, be here at the home of Lifeway Mobility in Westboro. All right, well, come on in, take All a look. Right. Super. Well, Dan, thank you for again for hosting and um, um, being our guest today. Um, would love to learn more about Lifeway Mobility for our audience, and it's great to have a business like yours here in downtown Westboro. So tell us about Lifeway. Sure, sure. So uh, Lifeway was actually started in 2015 uh, in Connecticut. And we have grown since then to five locations. So we have two in Connecticut. We have this one here in Westboro, Mass. Mm -hmm. And then we have one in Minnesota and another in Chicago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fantastic. That's quite Great. a range. Yeah, yeah. Right. it is. It is. And so, but inherent in your name is mobility, but tell us about what you do. I know we're going to take a tour of the show sure. for our audience, but what do you do here? Yeah, we're basically a one-stop shop for uh, people in need of safety and accessibility modifications in their home. Okay. Um, so that ranges from somebody who, let's say, is um, aging in place and needs um, a few modifications to make life a little bit easier for them. They might have some uh, minor mobility issues. Um, but, but it could also be somebody who is recently confined to a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. um, and this person needs to, you know, uh, come out of rehab and be able to access their home. They're sure. going to need to uh, navigate it and really function in their home in a wheelchair. Right. Um, so it's a, it's a wide range of people. Is it, you're all over the state. That's right. Because yeah. you're really kind of, un it's a unique company. It's a one-of-a-kind company. Yeah, it's, it's a very, it's the a commute unique. is very short if you right. live in <laughs> exactly. Westboro. Right. Exactly, right. You get to great. see the showroom, which yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. Um, so I know we're actually going to walk through the showroom in a few minutes, but when you think about folks, like, how do they plan for this, right? So that's yeah. kind of one of the issues. And then that the follow-on question to that is, how do you finance it? So I'll sure. turn it back over to you. Well, um, people don't like to plan for this, mm -hmm. uh, so we don't get a lot of people planning. But if I was to, um, if I was to suggest uh, planning to someone that is, uh, let's say, aging in place, I would say, uh, Definitely have a long-term approach to your plan. Don't just plan for the for the need now mm -hmm. that um, that they're looking for. Don't um, assume that you'll never fall. Exactly. Don't, don't, so right. um, the 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 name of the game is prevention. You want to prevent a fall from happening in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, a fall uh, is really life-changing for for people, mm -hmm. um, and you want to prevent it at all costs. So you want to take a longer range approach sure. and and. Um, really kind of uh, think about not just now, but what you're going to might need in the future. Right. Sure. And are right. folks usually receptive to that, Dan? They are to a degree. Yeah. I just, I would like them to know what we have mm -hmm. and when they're ready, mm -hmm. uh, we're ready to have it for them. Sure. Um, sure. I think um, I, I would like to see people um, become a little safer. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like um, they're, they're really uh, receptive to getting everything all at once, yep. but they'll, they'll do it in, in baby steps. And I think when we were talking before we uh, started actually rolling the cameras, you were saying that you, know, folk, you asked folks a particular question that I thought was interesting around being, you know, are, will you use this? So right, can right. you elaborate on that? Just? Yeah, uh, one of the questions I, I ask, and I, and I ask it because uh, the, what I get from people is, I don't need that. And, and I always say, well, I know you don't need it, but um, if you had it, would you use it? Mm. Because if you use it, what you're doing is you are um, minimizing the risk of falling. Right. And that's really, like right. I said, it's the name of the game. Right. You want to minimize that, right. uh, that risk. I always tell my clients that. I say, you know, you can live a great life, a very old age, just don't fall. Because right. Right. if you fall, all of a sudden, right. all bets are off, things could be real trouble. Right. So um, let's uh, take a stroll here through the uh, showroom and uh, tell us a little bit about um, the ramp here, because one of the first challenges, right, is how do I get in the house, house, sure. house right? This so, is great. Great. Uh, so this is obviously a ramp. Dan, tell us a little bit about uh, what we're looking at here. Sure. This is an aluminum modular ramping system. So we can configure this to any height mm -hmm. or any length. Um, this ramp could be permanent or it could be um, 
temporary. Mm -hmm. um, and we could uh, install these or disassemble these in a matter of hours. So oh, it's wow. a really, it's a great product. No kidding. Um, we can um, set it up for somebody very quickly. Mm. Um, and it's actually uh, very uh, flexible in where you can use it. We've used these in front of houses. We've used them in garages. We've mm -hmm. used them on back decks. Sure. Great, uh, great solution to get somebody in the house. Oh, that's great. That's that's fantastic because often once folks have their uh, loved one home, let's say from rehab, and then sort of the help is kind of disappearing, right? Yeah. Because people have to get back to work. Then they realize, oh my goodness, this transition is much more difficult for my loved one to navigate. And so oh, knowing that yeah. you can kind of come in and and obviously take measurements and do all that you need to do, but do that in relatively short order is that's that's fantastic for families to know. Yeah, right? I suppose from what you're saying, obviously this can be done as a permanent or a temporary solution. Right. So, so do you can can you rent these as well as absolutely. Them? So so you know based on the uh, the customers' needs, we'll figure out whether they need a uh, you know if it's short term, mm -hmm. uh, we would definitely offer a rental option. Yeah. But the thing is, some people don't know. Some people um, mm. may think you know I might be getting better yep. or. Um, and, but they're not really sure. So we also offer rent um, with uh, rent with owning in mind. Oh, an option right, so to buy. An option yeah, yeah. To buy. That's right. Right. So a good portion of their money towards the rent will go towards the purchase. So we really try to uh, not only come up with a good solution, but come up with the, the most economical solution. Sure. Uh, for sure. The Absolutely. Person. So yeah. tell us what we have over here. This is pretty interesting, Dan. We've got. Uh, I yeah. don't know what they are. That looks like a shower mat to me and maybe a ramp. Well, you, yeah, you're close. So these are called um, transition ramps or threshold ramps. Mm -hmm. And these um, will typically go, um, if you've ever seen a, a front or back door, there's always that that uh, that like threshold that. lip oh, right. that's about an inch, inch and a yeah. quarter. Sure. That's super difficult for somebody in a wheelchair to mm. navigate over. Right. So yeah. any little floor transition or any door threshold, mm. very hard for somebody in a wheelchair to get over, or even anybody using a, a wheel walker, device like yeah. a walker, really walker uh, right, or yeah. a rollator. Yep. Um, these make life a lot easier mm. for them to, because they can wow. just kind of ramp up and over. And I love that these actually come in different colors. So right. like aesthetically, like they can kind of have them kind of blend in with um, your, your home. Right. So these, these are... Um, Neat. Are, are basically uh, made to look like a doormat. Yeah, right. And you can great. see a couple of different materials here. So the aluminum is great. It's mm -hmm. it's usually used on the outside. Yep. Um, it's maintenance free. Mm -hmm. You'll see this one. You were close. So this is a uh, a, a ramp for a shower threshold. So this is a light plastic. You can pick oh. it up. You could wash it off. Very durable. And then a lot of the the rubber ramps are just kind of low yeah. profile. I mean, this looks it actually looks like a doormat. I wouldn't right. even know that it's you know if you will a mobility or assisted device. Right, it's, right. It's, it's like one of the themes that I was really thinking about as you before the show we were kind of looking around. Is yeah. So much of it is is people you know they're going to be living in this house, right? Yeah. So they want it to be safe. But they don't want it to look goofy. You know? Right, right. It look like I came out oh of the I'm going to the yes. hospital to visit. Yeah, right, exactly. right. Yeah, so to, to, for to folks in. to realize once again that the industry has responded to that. That you've got right. stuff that really is kind of designed. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of products out there that are uh, that are safe and accessible, but they're also stylish. And you're right. going to see some of that in in the showroom. Excellent, today. excellent. So once you're in the house, the immediate thing that comes to my mind is when we, and we were talking about falls earlier is bathroom safety, right? Sure. You get wet floors, the time, yeah. you know, lips to get over in the hard, tubs hard and surfaces. hard surfaces. Yeah, so really uh, bad in the tell us what you have yeah. to help folks sure. in the bathroom. Come on over this okay. way. Okay. All right. Well, we're clearly here at Bath Safety Headquarters, <laughs> right? Excellent, right here in Westboro. Right here, in Westboro. right. So, Dan, tell us what we're looking at here. Sure. So, this is a display of of a typical tub shower you might see in someone's house. So, we retrofitted it and and basically made a safe bathing environment out of an existing tub shower. You retrofitted it. So in other words, that tub didn't come that way. You no. actually were taking an right. existing tub and you were cutting it wow. out. Yeah. That's so let me, which is I'll an just... astonishing thing. I mean, as a, as a totally non-handy person, sure. didn't know you could do that. All right. Let me show you um, how, how we do this. This is called a, uh, a safety step. Mm -hmm. and what we've done is we've cut a section of the tub out and we've installed the step. So basically, you, you know, a, a bathtub is probably the biggest barrier in the house. It's sure. about 16 inches high. Mm -hmm. So we've now cut that down to six inches. Yep. So when we um, take a, a safety step and maybe we add a grab bar, yeah, we give right a, a very uh, safe and easy way for now for you to now mm -hmm. access your tub to come in and out. Right. 
And we've seen a lot of these before in, in homes. This is pretty standard, but this thing is really interesting. What, yeah. what is this? This is a great bar. It's one of my favorites. This is called a Dependa bar. This comes I, out. I think I need a Dependa bar. This is right? cool. Yeah. And so a lot of people um, that are, are having uh, weakness in legs mm. or maybe they have a balance issue, they need something right in front of them. So along with a, a safety step and maybe a grab bar, you can grab something right, oh, wow, that's right in great. front of you yep. and get yourself in. What we always like to see is two points of contact, mm. right? So we have one here, one here, yep. bring them in, and now you have wow. two points of contact again. And, and how to be able to get up. You can, now you can, use, you, you can get up with your arms. As absolutely. To so a lot of people that have a weakness in legs would have yeah. good upper body sure. strength, grab the bar and sit themselves down. Wow. They could also pick themselves up. Another great feature of the bar mm. is a lot of people that have balance issues really always want to hold on to something. Mm. So let's say, you know, when you're in a shower, what are you doing? You might be washing yeah. your hair, right. you might be soaping up. Sure. You can lean against this bar. That's great. Right? So That's it's, great. It's, a, it's a real uh, comfort feature for someone to be yeah. able to lean, be able to do what they want, right. be able to grab the bar. That's great. Also a great bar to then get out of the tub as well. Yep. That's the key here. You can take your existing bathroom and mm -hmm. make it safe. Which right. is the reason why the pricing can be so reasonable. Because you're sure. not just dropping in a whole bunch of new right. stuff. Right, so. great. That's and so uh, as we kind of move over here, these are obviously some different steps. Yeah, so this was a standard safety mm -hmm. step, but some people um, have a much larger tub. You ever see these garden soaker tubs? Oh, sure. Right, so those are very deep. Those might be 24 inches mm -hmm. tall. So we have what's called an ultra low, yep. so we can cut it down even oh, further. Okay. Got it. You can get um, it in a different color. So this is bone if you have mm -hmm. an ivory color tub. Um, this is a. Uh, uh, another one of my favorites. This is called the convertible. A lot of people oh. still want to have a tub, ah, right? Yeah. But they also want the access of a shower. Sure. So this can easily, this insert can be easily taken out, yep. use it as a shower, and then maybe you're going to bathe your kids uh, the next night, right? Sure. You're going right. to put your, your insert back in. Yeah. Yeah. Your husband really likes to take a, and take a regular bath. Anybody, right. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. You That's can put great. that back in. All right, super. So as we sort of continue, we think about the bathroom. You've sure. got some other features here. Um, I have a personal favorite, this one, or you're going to demonstrate it for us. Well, um, Super Pole, yeah. Yeah, so this product. is, uh, in full disclosure, this is the one that we invested in for uh, a family member, and it has been fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So it's, it's real simple. It's a pole from floor to ceiling. Um, it's tension fitted, so, so it's that not. Go all the way up to the, that it would go all the way up the to the ceiling. Uh, very flexible pole. You can use it uh, near your favorite chair in the mm -hmm. living room. You could use it to help you get out of bed. Mm -hmm. uh, we put it um, many times between a toilet and a shower because mm -hmm. you could use it to get up off mm -hmm. the toilet. You could get it in and out of the shower. Right. Um, but you could use it to get out of bed. Absolutely. Well, no, what a great no, because yeah. that's the thing. You're getting out of bed. There's not never anything to hold on to. And and that's exactly and you're high up. right. That was the, exactly our mm -hmm. challenge because even though my loved one has a movable bed, you know, yeah. the kind that fold up and can oh. put you in all different. Yeah. Even with that lifting right. mechanism, if you will that kind of core strength, like how do I get out? So the ability to kind of pull, mm -hmm. um, um, to pull myself up or to help me actually sit down comfortably um, has been, I mean, I have someone now that can do that on their own and I don't have to be there to help. I mean, and that's huge. I'm, I'm telling that's, you, that this, is, this several, is not a commercial. This is real stuff. You know, this is true. Yeah, this right. is really true. Um, and we don't have this one, but I, this one is interesting. So tell, tell us uh, about this one. Sure. This is called a PT rail. Uh, you've probably seen them in hospitals or facilities. Mm. This is kind of the residential version. Mm. Um, and it's basically here to help someone get on and off a toilet. It comes in a left or a right, and you can kind of see an offset. Mm. Uh, the bar is offset. And this is really for somebody to be able to hold on to this and have their arms straight. Oh, interesting. Where a lot of the other bars don't do that. So you can, you can grab a hold and lower yourself yep. and raise yourself uh, much easier. Wow. Now, you might have another user of this uh, toilet and doesn't need the bar. You can easily just pull it up and keep it out of the way. That's great. That's um, great. Pretty slim great, line, not, in, you know, not intrusive right. into, you know, right. not everyone yeah. has a palatial bathroom, right? Sure, so, sure. Very interesting. Easy to install, it too. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Right, right. Great. Excellent. All right, super. Well, as we continue on here through the showroom, tell us uh, where we're heading next. All right. So one of our um, most popular projects we do is we remove bathtubs and we put in showers. It's called a tub-to-shower conversion. Um, this is a, a great product we use. These are the best bath showers. Um, they are, uh, have varying um, thresholds mm. uh, from barrier-free all the way up to four inches high. 
Um, all these walls here are plywood backed, so that means we can install any accessory on here um, and we don't need any sort of blocking. Mm. Um, the shower comes as a package where you'll get you know, a water stopper barrier, you'll get a flip down seat, grab bars, the shower valve, a handheld shower, the whole thing comes in a box. Mm -hmm. Super you drop this whole thing right into the bathroom. Right into so the existing cut, so you're not cutting into that back wall, into that, that person's back wall. You're actually, that, that is the back wall that you're going to just move right into the bathroom. That's right. Wow. That's, right. Yeah. That's amazing because blocking is so important. Mm -hmm. You can't just stick a grab bar where you don't have blocking and yeah. you know no uh, one to our earlier right. conversation about planning you don't you plan a like, lot of oh, bad I need, stories about those yeah exactly. right oh i'm gonna pull it and pull it right out of the wall and so that cool bar that we saw over in bath safety headquarter yeah. the dependable what the, is it the bar the yeah, dependable bar that could be put in here too and we've done that wow. many times wow yeah. now you, yeah, mentioned, you want to you can mix up all these products right um, well, you come uh, come out with a with a with a safe, accessible, and also pretty stylish. Sure. And it looks like this width, I, I was mentioning once again before we started the show, this width looks like it's about the size of a typical bathtub. It is. So these it's are, actually designed to kind of fit where, right. Right, where you pull out the bathtub and you just drop one of these things in. Yeah. Exactly. That's great. Exactly. Now, you mentioned something to our audience, but they might not have picked up. Can you talk a little bit about what barrier free is? Because I, I think that oh, even yeah, with yeah. this, as we're looking at it here, there's, sure. a, there's a short threshold right here. But tell us about that. Sure. So barrier free means that um, you are you're minimizing the barriers to entry so this would be entry into a shower okay. you can do a zero clearance which would be absolutely um, no barrier at all so the floor of the bathroom becomes the floor okay. of the shower and that's what this is right here so this is a barrier free shower Got pan. It. this pan can be switched out to uh, for uh, many different styles of pans you may want something uh, of this size because you may be putting this pan on the subfloor, lowering it, Yeah. right? And yep. you want your finished floor to, to meet up with that. Sure. So, yeah. um, you know, us as um, home consultants, we would determine what would be the best threshold what for What works for best, great. Yeah. And we saw earlier when we were talking about transitions, you had shower transitions too. So yep. somehow that all could be Yeah, connected. and we can use, uh, if, if they have a, a shower that has a half inch or three quarter inch lip or even a sure. one inch lip, we can use a shower ramping system great. to get them in great. and out. Great. Well, when I get old, I want to have enough time to soak in a tub. So right. <laughs> tell us about what's going on over here, Dan. All right. So uh, these are, you probably see these a lot on late night TV. These are our walk-in tubs. Okay. Um, basically, the, uh, what I like to call this is an accessible tub. So you open the door here. This is almost like getting into a car. Well, can right? I try that out? Sure, go All ahead. All right. Excellent. Oh, I'm relaxed already. This is right. fantastic. So the door just closes. Oh. Does this come with a jacuzzi? I don't know. Bubbles, I think. <laughs> this is great. Now, why would someone want a tub versus a shower? I well, mean, there's, there's a couple reasons. Um, they like to have a, a tub instead of a shower. Or they may want uh, hydrotherapy, which is the, uh, uh, the, the therapy that uh, the, the water in the air spa will give you. Sure. But I'm going to tell you a key uh, reason that a lot of people don't know. In a shower, if you have... Um, balance issues mm -hmm. or let's say uh, fainting in a shower you're going to fall out yep. right so in a tub these walls are nice and high look how high this sure. is right yeah, so I'm if you tall, have so, yeah. um, an episode where mm -hmm. you're dizzy off yep. balance yeah. or you faint you're you're, you're okay. safe yep. yeah, yeah. Right? Interesting. and that's really one of the keys and that's that's kind of the, uh, a driving reason uh, for me to recommend these actually is is for safety and again, uh, to Arthur's question earlier, when we were looking this in terms of width, about the same size as uh, a tub, it looks, feels like a little shorter. It maybe. is a little uh, shorter, but these come with extension panels. So we basically okay. get the tub and we and we have filler panels that can fill okay. in the existing. Okay. And the reason why it's short because you're sitting in it, because there's actually a seat inside. Yeah, so correct. Right. Yeah. correct. You're not like scrunching yeah. it. Right, yeah. no, 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 I'm very comfortable and I'm pretty yeah. tall, so great. Anyone can let me out whenever you want. Oh, perfect, thank you. Your ride is over. That was great. That's great. Excellent. All right, super. You should, you should use that as part of your home movies that you have, you know, you and your partner. I think so. Say this I think when you're so. old. Your yes. daughter's oh, going to yeah. be very amused. Yeah, yeah. well, I already know what I want for Christmas. There we go. Great. And That's right. And so obviously this is uh, another tub. And oh, what do we have over here? So these are what we were talking about earlier. A lot of people, you know, they, they don't want to have grab bars. They don't want their house to look like, uh, you know, a hospital. Mm. Um, and they're very worried about that. So um, there's a lot of products out there. I don't know if you can get a, come in here. 
But these are very nice looking grab bars. Um, wow. But they're, they're dual purpose. This is a grab bar, but it's also a towel bar. Wow, here. that's great. It's a toilet paper holder, but it's also a grab bar. So you can make oh. a, a very stylish bathroom that happens right. to be safe. I can't right. tell you how many people I know use their towel bar not made for right. pulling, exactly. right? Yeah. And not exactly. installed properly. And the next thing you know, it's like those funny little anchor screws right. things are, are coming off and, the wall. And, and now you get, right? right? Absolutely. So you that's can put these great. in and invite your kids over and not even tell them you put a grab bar in your bathroom. That's right. That's right. Yeah. right. Kind of, right. Oh, my, that's really yeah. cool. They'll be like, wow, look at that. Look, look, look at mom and dad. Yeah, they were like, they're stepping it up, right? That's great. Fantastic. Excellent. Well, this is, wow, you have a lot here in the uh, showroom, and I think we're going to see some more other um, items, right? Sure. Well, hi, Shelby. <laughs> hi, Arthur. <laughs> hi, how are you? Good to a see pleasure. you. A pleasure. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Nice to see meet you. you. Is this what you do all day for work? Yeah, this is what I do all day, up and down, up and down. This By the way, I did notice before the show, there were two of these, so you, had, you, you and your partner can actually do races and stuff? Like oh, we do. Maybe, 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 maybe if you're lucky, we'll take one at the end of the show. That's great. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, uh, we've, uh, Dan gave us a great tour of your showroom, as you know, and we've talked about getting into the home, uh, bathroom safety, obviously stairs, right? We live in New England, not a lot of ranches, a lot of colonials. Tell us about uh, chairlifts. Sure. Well, uh, you know, the, the story with chairlifts, it's, it's probably the most popular product we install, and they come in a, a wide variety. So there's a standard model, there's an elite model, mm -hmm. they work on straight stairways, yep. um, they have interior and exterior models, oh. and they have uh, the top of the line is a custom curved Sure. Uh, stairway. So if you have a yeah, kind of Victorian home kind of thing that goes around a corner, right, and we've right. done those, yeah. and those are also interior and exterior. Wow. And exterior. I was amazed when you said they were actually exterior ones, right? Yeah, but that's, that's a real wow. because so many of those houses, right? You yeah, just well, you picture a brownstone yeah. or yeah. some older home that has you know an elegant front entryway, yeah. or you, or you yeah. can't do a ramp because you don't have the slope. Right, right, you're right, right. right. Kind of stuck, exactly. Right, right. You can't yeah. kind of take up the sidewalk for my ramp. Right, exactly. Yeah. So we just installed one last week, in fact, in front of a a home uh, right uh, on the seashore up in Everett on a pouring rain day. Oh, and it was, that must uh, have been fun. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so th those ones come with a rain cover as well. Okay. So it's this, you know, this hooded arrangement that goes on it. So, so it's not really to ride in with the cover, but yeah. it's for storage. Sure, so it's like sure. where it snows or whatever, so you can cover it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right. yeah. That, that's and right. and um, so tell us, um, can folks, um, you sell these, you rent them? We talked with, earlier with Dan about renting ramps and, and all of that. So tell oh, us sure. a little bit yeah. about so, options here. You know, of course, depending upon the individual needs, uh, um, you can either, um, you know, if it was a temporary situation sure. and the person's recovering, yep. then it may just be a rental sure, situation. Sure. Um, but if it's a long-term yeah. need, then you yeah. buy. And, of course, we, we carry um, used oh, rims, right. uh, you know, right. used lifts and, right. and new ones. Excellent. Um, Excellent. And oftentimes we buy them back. Sure. So at the end of the use, you know, yep. eventually you're not yep. going to need it again. Right, and, exactly. Sorry. So we right. buy the. Because right. once again, for my friends Frank and Mary, you know, when you're thinking about, it looks like a major expense, but if right. you know that, A, it will get bought back, yeah. and yeah. B, you know, you can actually rent in the short run, yeah. you know, it's, it's right. And one of the things, I mean, that's obviously mechanical, um, do you service these as well, or how does that, how does that work? I mean, if, if I'm renting it, are you servicing it, or do you like have folks that you can, can call somebody do you right recommend, yeah. no, well, do you great recommend question. folks to, or yeah. how does that great work, question. right? Right, so, so that's one of the things that Lifeway Mobility offers, is that uh, when you buy virtually any of the products as a one-year warranty. Mm -hmm. So if anything needs tweaking or sure. so forth, yeah. okay. um, through that time, it, it doesn't even cost you any money. Yep. Um, and then we sell service agreements okay. optionally if it's a long-term sure. use. Sure. Sure. For example, on the lifts, um, at, um, there's a few routine maintenance things that should be looked at once okay. a year, Perfect. including greasing the, the gear track. Right, because if I'm yeah. older and I need this, getting down and working on this may not be, you know, something that I can do, right? right? right. So, you so got to know you don't want your kids to be doing it. No, 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 no. no, no, no. The kids away. Exactly, exactly, right. Although the grandkids would love these, With right? Yeah. Exactly. exactly. They are battery operated. Okay. So, of course, the batteries will fail eventually, yep. and that needs to be replaced sure. maybe after two years. Sure. Right? Okay, great. Yeah. And so, um, is there, um, to that point then, is there, so there's not an electrical requirement uh, for wiring? They're all battery operated? Well, they are. There is, so there's, there's a power connection actually if you look up here at the okay. at the top you'll see it's plugged in but okay. all that's doing is charging the battery so, oh interesting okay. so there's a little strip that oh. goes up and down yeah. inside the track Got and it. that keeps the battery charged ah, okay. and that's why it lasts for two years yeah, yeah. That's, that's a really little battery i know i need those right. Right. yeah right. excellent
Excellent. So um, when we think about, obviously, we talked about kind of going up and down the stairs. You have some other products you were going to, I think, show us in the next room. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Follow me in here. Okay. Wow. Super. So here we've got uh, a couple of uh, interesting products. And this mobile device is um, new to the market. Mm. And again, depending upon the acuity of the, of the patient or the elder, um, they may be recovering and they may have you know, severe mobility um, concerns that they're dealing with, sure. or it could be somebody that's permanently disabled. Yeah, no, we, we see these a lot where folks, um, uh, just for point of clarification, this is a Hoyer lift, yeah. right? And uh, uh, folks who Google. otherwise would be a two-person yeah. assist. So you think about, it's it Frank and Mary are living together, together, right? And Frank has difficulties getting up. And Mary's got um, a big problem because she can't move Frank. Right, and Mary right. is slight, right? And right. so... Um, even with her strength and care and love, she can't physically move him from the bed uh, to a chair or, and this is narrow. This is kind of an interesting uh, footprint. Yeah, so a couple neat features about it. So um, and just for clarification, the Hoyer is the brand name of oh, okay. a type, right? Okay. So this yeah, is yeah. just another brand sure. yeah, of yeah, that. Yeah. But the, um, with a couple of clips, this folds right down and it can be tucked away in a closet or underneath something. It, it, it all lowers down. Oh, that's Got this right. handy little foot pedal here so if I can get, I can straddle a toilet with it. So if I'm bringing somebody into the bathroom, I can get through the doorway while it's closed. And then as I'm approaching, I can just open it up. I can you know, lower and raise them. Yeah. Now I saw you doing that. So how much weight would that carry? It carries 330 pounds. Is wow, what it's that's for. great. Unlike That's the bathtub, so I'm not going to get in there. No. Yeah. And these wheels are specialized for, you know, quite a large amount of weight. You'll notice each wheel is double, and it can go, it's made to go on a carpet or a hardwood sure. floor. Sure. That's great. Um, you know, wow. this would be, as Deanne was describing earlier, with those thresholds. Of course, if you're trying to navigate around your home mm -hmm. in one of these, you're probably going to have to have some little yeah. uh, uh, threshold ramps, transition yeah. reps. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. And do you train families on how to operate this, right? You don't just Oh, yeah, most operate. definitely, yeah. sure. Right, right, yeah. right. So that they can do a safe transfer. And yep, that's, a, and that's that. really what this is, is a safe transfer product. Excellent. Now, we see folks oftentimes that are, they're recovering. Mm. So this is just a rental or it's mm. a short-time use. Yeah. They're going to use this just till they get through yep. their OTPT, and then they're back on their feet again. Excellent. So, well, one, uh, one of the handy things for people who live here in Westboro is that you're right here. So in terms of dealing with any of that, right. se segueing from one piece of equipment to a different one or having things checked, you're right here. Exactly. Right? Which is great. Exactly. Right. Great. So the, yeah, just a moment here. on with this. Yeah. Yeah. Th this uh, system is, is commonly seen in uh, the hospital uh -huh. setting, mm -hmm. um, but we've installed many of them in, in, in folks' homes. And... You know, I would say it's more for the person that's not recovering and mm -hmm. maybe is, you know, yeah, sure. going to need it for a long term. Sure. But it comes in a variety of form factors. So this is semi-portable. I mean, I, I can actually move this. Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. I don't oh, want to trip you there, yep, Shelby. Yep, yep. So it's, it's, it's not that cumbersome. Okay, yep. There's another model that actually comes with bags mm -hmm. and there's two yep. tripods yep. and the, you know, the, the top beam um, mounts on there. But essentially, it's, it's just a lift system. Normally, I'd have this, I'd have the same crossbar that's on the lift over here, okay. on here, and then you know this is submersible. It's waterproof, so if you were using this in a in a bathtub situation, sure. you want to lower somebody sure. in and out. Just for our demo, of course, this rail is shorter than it normally would be. Yep. So I, you could picture a bed here and have mm -hmm. this over the bed. I'm yep. picking the person up out of the bed, and moving safely into a transferring them to a commode yep. or to a wheelchair. Yep, and, absolutely. Um, and we have actually installed. Uh, a different variety where it, the, the rail permanently mounts to the right, ceiling. Right. So I can have this go from my bedroom sure. into the bathroom. Into the living room. If it was, yeah. Especially if it's a ranch type yeah. home. Yeah. And they even come, believe it or not, um, powered. Um, in fact, this one is that. So it yeah. So I yeah. can put the person safely sure. in their sling, and then I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've we've uh, seen folks um, with um, to Doug's point, long-term uh, disabilities like ALS, yeah. um, who you know are going to be in a declining state and using this. And right. uh, well, this is great. I mean, this has been it's such a learning experience. It's been amazing. This is great, it's Doug. Been amazing. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very for coming much. by. It was really, really nice appreciate to see you folks. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Very exciting. And so Arthur, da, 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 da. yet another show. Yet another show. Um, to an end. Thank is, so Shelby always does this, right? If she keeps coming up with these like great shows, right? I, I had no idea that your company, the company that, that does 
wonderful company existed right here on West Hall. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we want to thank our guests. Absolutely. Who were terrific. Yeah. But I really want to thank you for joining us. Oh, uh, you're the best. Once again, it's one of those great things that's in, in, here in West Hall. That's Rome, right. And we'll look forward to seeing you on the next installment of Frankie Mary here in West Hall. Thanks thank for watching. Very much.